So the question is, um, what are my kind of top influences, maybe top three influences as artists or people who influenced my music career? Um, I'd have to say my very first one would be um, my oldest brother, actually. Um, as a kid growing up out in sort of the rural area of Australia, my brother would play records and tapes every night. So I would go to sleep listening to music, you know, John Baez, Cat Stevens, Neil Young, to Led Zeppelin, the Beatles, all this stuff. And I'd fall asleep listening to this stuff every night. So like at age six, I have these vivid memories of all this music, you know. And uh, he would be my top influence and he would play flamenco guitar. And uh, I'd hear that as well. So I used to sneak and play his guitar, you know, and stuff like that. And when I first played it, it was like, felt really natural to me. Kind of freaked me out a little bit, actually. It kind of, guitar scared me at first because it just felt so at home. Oh. Really weird, yeah. Um, and through my life, it was like that. And any time I came near a guitar, it would be like, whoa, that thing freaks me out. Because it was so intense? Like, Yeah, and it, like, guitar's like one of those instruments, you know the guitar player is going to be in front of a lot of people. Mm. And like the center of attention. Away. Like the, I wanted to be a drummer. Mm. So like I thought if I sit behind everyone, that's cool. I've got something in front of me. Yeah. And I love drums. But um, the guitar just freaked me out because I thought if I do guitar, I'm going to be of people so I have to be that guy yeah yeah so my first influence would have been my brother then all of the artists that he listened to which I just stated um, then I came across um, uh, way later on um, a lot of the 80s rock stuff but um, my biggest influence would be a guitar player called Joe Satriani and um, I mean this guy changed my life uh, I was like 14 I was uh, training to be an Olympic swimmer and um, I heard a track called Midnight of Surfing with the Alien and um, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. This just blew my mind, it really did and uh, that was it. I just decided there and then. I, was, I can remember the exact time actually. I was on a bus and we're going on a school music tour with the, uh, my music school had this tour thing they were doing in the outback and uh, cool. I remember going to my school music teacher Lee Bowman and she was a classic pianist and amazing musician and um, I had the old cassette tape and there were like a Walkman I'm listening to it and I heard Midnight and I was like oh my god what is this <laughs> and I, after I finished listening to it I was like I have to show Lee Bowman my music teacher and I gave her the headphones and said listen to this and she heard it she said, wow, that's amazing. I said, oh my God, that's it. I have to be a professional guitar player. Wow. And that was the moment for me. And from then on, it was just like listening to all his music and other guys like Steve Vai, and Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, you know, you know, Eric Clapton, right back to Robert Johnson, the Blues. There's so many, but um, Joe is my guy, you know, he's like the man and probably the guy for a lot of guitar players. But I love his music because it's really musical. Um, very memorable melodies and you can sing them back and yeah just a really good role model too uh, as a musician you're a really really great guy that's me so i'll stop talking and hand it over to kate <laughs> so how about you kate what was your um, oh, here you go <laughs>